I want to share with you this, uh, this link that I found over on Medium. Medium.com is a pretty great website. There's a gentleman over there by the name of Don Lewis who wrote uh, two different articles that go into great detail about some of the problems that uh, John Pierce is having in his life currently. And again, my, my point in going through this is not to rub his nose in it and to, or just, and to smear him uh, or the specifics of his life or his case, it's just to highlight a fact, right? If, if we know this is going on, the public at large knows this is going on, the defense knows it, this guy, Don Lewis, knows it's going on, the prosecutor's offices are going to know this is going on, and this is going to be troubling for Kyle Rittenhouse. If these guys are focused on other things, they're not going to be focused on his case. That's my only concern here. So it's important to know that this is what's going on. So here, uh, Don Lewis says that you know, there's, there's been all of this information going around, these allegations that John Pierce was uh, leading some of the fundraising for Kyle Rittenhouse, leading it for his, his defense, his legal defense fund. And because he is in so, he's so badly in debt, there were allegations that he was going to sort of take some of this money and apply it to his past debts. Now he comes out and he says, total fake news, Pierce Bainbridge PC has zero debt. So keep that, keep that noted there, right? Pierce Bainbridge PC, zero debt. I have stepped off the fight back board to avoid any potential conflict. Of course, the firm will have to keep, will have to be paid for some of his work and expenses so we can keep the lights on, fight back free Kyle. All right. So here is where Don Lewis goes through this in great detail. He says that uh, the reported $70 million debt. All right. So financial picture of Pierce, Brainbridge, Beck, Price, and Hecht LLP is not pretty. The firm's reported debt is $70,000. Uh, $70 million. All right. So you're going to see this a lot. Uh, Pierce, Bainbridge, and we're going to see a number of different sort of entities that are being created. So it looks like he's just sort of creating new entities. He's uh, having one legal entity that accumulates a bunch of debt. He folds that entity up and then moves into a different entity and uh, and takes on new debt. So it's sort of like a like a Ponzi scheme It was to a, to a certain extent. It's kind of what it feels like. I'm not saying that's what it is, but it kind of feels like that to me. So here is what Don Lewis is saying. He's saying, okay, so uh, something was going on November 7th, 2019. There was a Rudy, Rudy Giuliani hired Pierce Bainbridge to, to uh, represent him. And he actually did some deep dives on this. So he pulled uh, a, an income statement, income and expense statement. He went through this. Now, again, this is all right on the internet. You can go to his article on medium.com and pull all of this stuff. But he summarizes it here. He says, Pierce owed over $1 million in taxes. He owed his former spouse's mother 27000 He owed Citibank 90000 No investment incomes. His cash deposit accounts were only $10,000. Fair market value of all of his personal property was $0, or negative, actually. He, owed, or he, he uh, has $49,000 of expenses every month. So essentially, he's got nothing, right? He files his income and expense declaration, and he has, he has very, very little assets. But He's also doing this interesting thing where he is sort of changing the names of the the law firms sort of from one entity to another. And there's this timeline that Don Lewis puts together here where he says, okay, here's here, here's kind of how that's been how this has been going on. He's got all of these actual lawsuits from these different cash advance companies who are suing Pierce Brainbridge and John Pierce and uh, you know personally and all of these different enterprises, Pierce Brainbridge, Beck, Price, and Hecht, uh, Pierce Burns, LLP, John M. Pierce Enterprises, LLC, JMP Enterprises, John M. Pierce, right? All of these different LLCs because they, they owe a bunch of money. So Slade Advance was one of these organizations where uh, $500,000 in upfront cash was going to be given to John Pierce and these entities in exchange for future rec- receivables. So this is just a cash advance. So they're saying, hey, John, we're going to give you $500,000. We know that you're going to make $750,000 back. And so we want all of that money. We're going to give you $500,000 now. You pay us back seven fifty. dollars no problem. Those are just you know example numbers. I don't know what the actual numbers were in this case. Well, when John and, and uh, John Pierce and his enterprises didn't pay that money back, this lawsuit was filed. So they filed Slate Advance sued uh, sue him for that. Same story with this other lawsuit. We've got the Supreme Court. We've got the West Coast Business Capital. They uh, provided two hundred sixty thousand dollars upfront cash. And they wanted three hundred eighty-seven thousand four hundred dollars back in future receivables. So the same deal, and it's the same people: Pierce, Brainbridge, uh, Beck, 
Price and Hacked, LLA, uh, Pierce, same people, John Pierce Enterprises, John John M. Pierce personally. So, you know, between the two of these, you got 260000 up front. He owes three hundred eighty, almost $400,000 on that. Then we got 500000 here, probably in exchange for future receivables with a you know, much higher number. So he's probably looking at, you know, three quarters of a million dollars that he owes just between those two lawsuits. He's got another one, right? He's got another one with Cat Creative Capital Funding, who's essentially doing the same thing. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in upfront cash provided in exchange for future receivables. So he's just going around and he's getting a lot of cash advances. And then he's getting sued by the people who who, who loaned him the money. He's we got you know three lawsuits and we got full complaints here that that Don Lewis has gathered, which is which is troubling behavior. Um, you know we've got we've got more of these different screenshots. We've got here. Uh, another uh, Karish Capital LLC, whereby 2.5 million upfront cash was provided in exchange for future receivables with daily repayments of $37,500 until 3.7 million was paid back. So he borrows 2.5, repays back 3.75. And in, in uh, just recently, in July 22nd, 2020, the New York Supreme Court entered a money judgment for $3.99 million dollars against uh, against John John Bainbridge or John uh, John Pierce John M Pierce Enterprises. So one of John Pierce's entities now own owes 3.9 million dollars and you can see that here right in the breakdown from the New York case filing right towards Karish Capital. So between the 3.9 and another, you know, uh, 3 quarters of a million, we're looking at almost 5 million dollars that this guy is in the hole on. And now he is representing, uh, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse. And this just goes on and on and on. So what essentially what uh, Don Lewis is claiming happened here is that he would just form new articles of incorporation. So in May 2020, he's got all of that past debt on those old companies. And so now what he's doing is he's just forming a new company. He's saying, oh, no, uh, we have zero debt. Obviously, we have zero debt. Um, we just formed the company. We haven't incurred any debt. So this is the articles of incorporation that were filed for Pierce Bainbridge, which is the firm that we're hearing about for Kyle Rittenhouse. And they've got on May 20th, this was filed. It's a brand new articles of incorporation. I mean, basically nothing in there, right? Just the, the, the absolute bare minimum that you need in order to form the articles. And he's got, you know, these finance statements. He's got uh, other lawsuits from you know individuals suing John Pierce. Uh, you know, another complaint here. Uh, another complaint here. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. And it is, uh, it is not a good situation, right? And so we asked the question, is John Pierce in this for Kyle Rittenhouse or is John Pierce in this for John Pierce? Or is he in it for something else? Is there another reason why he is, uh, you, you know, really so gung-ho about representing Kyle Rittenhouse? Is it because that this case is going to be sort of a launch pad to something else that's going to help him cover these past debts that he is uh, accumulating so quickly and moving companies around. So it's 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 concerning, right? If just like like Lynn Wood said, if this stuff is distracting from the representation that Kyle Rittenhouse should be getting, that is a problem. He needs to have you know competent legal representation with people who are highly focused on on getting Kyle Rittenhouse the justice that he deserves and getting him out of custody as soon as possible. Mm -hmm.